everybody welcome back to another youtube video Woo! it is the season of love season's greetings the best time of the year valentine's day one of my favorite freaking holidays whatever ever and um for reasons that i shall not share because they're very personal no i'm just kidding anyways um, I think I was conceived in February, not gonna lie. But yeah, as you can see, I have a little bit of stuff on my rack, you know, that's also my bed. And in this haul, we are going to be doing Valentine's Day themed clothes. So yeah, if you're a freaky gal and you want to get it on this Valentine's Day with your husband, then this is the video for you because I have some articles that you could possibly show off to him. So yeah, let's get right into that. If you didn't notice, like <laughs> I did my lips pretty fire today with this bad boy and yeah i usually do pink lips so let me know if you like the little more casual beige pinkish light baby pink look with all those kind words and inspirational advice being said let's get into the first outfit by the way this one is also from fashion Nova. yeah all of this is from fashion Nova, but i'm not gonna say that <laughs> This is a really reflective dress and I absolutely really like that about it, but it's just a little bit too heavy for my body. There's not a lot of support for this dress. So I feel like I say that every freaking YouTube video that I have no boobs, but. Look at me. I don't like this one let's go to the next one okay guys so this is the next dress so if you're like me kind of i don't like a lot of bold colors even like pink i don't like and then i don't like a lot of graphic things either like i do like graphic tees and graphic shirts but i'm saying like i don't like something that's super super eye-catching or whatever i that's the only word i could think of to describe it um, so this would definitely be something you'd go for more because it's still so gorgeous on the side. Look at that. It's definitely going to get your man, you know. Um, but I just feel like it's a little bit more casual but still brings in what you want. You know what I mean? And probably more of what you want because it's going to attract the person that also thinks the same as you. Which these outfits are not to attract anybody but I'm just saying because it is the season of love you know you want the one that you want so yeah wear the dress that you want and you'll get the one you want right right hopefully anyways i love this one a lot no uh no cons about it except got no hoo-hahs so it doesn't fill it in that great so it's a little bit loose there um but that's really about it and i can make it you know, I'm gonna flash somebody if I don't pull it up. So I wish it had straps, but with that being said, let's go into the next this bit. This is another one that would have been great if it was tighter on me, because it does not fit. <laughs> Look at that. It comes with a glove, with two gloves, but I just lost the other one. I do like these gloves as accessories. Maybe I could have it for some other outfit, maybe the other one before. Um, but yeah i don't know where the other glove is and this dress would have been nice i like the white clashing with the black that's cute adds a little bit of a light cool color cool tone color but yeah it doesn't fit so we're gonna have to go to the next one next outfit by the way i just wanted to show you guys the other dress with this that is making me crack up so hard out there <laughs> anyways this is the next dress it is actually so adorable i know i did say just a few minutes ago that i didn't like any graphic heart things but i think i was lying to myself because this is actually one of my favorites right now um maybe not so much the choker even though i do like it a lot because i my name is rosalie and this is a rose but i just feel like it looks so cute and I have white stilettos to go with it so let me get them for you so this uh oh it's so cute little 50s little 50s dress wee -woo, wee -woo, wee -woo. anyways realistically you probably wouldn't wear this like on your date or with your boyfriend 
on Valentine's Day because it's just a little bit too much. You might make the guy feel intimidated. You might make him feel like inferior to you, which we can never do that. So, guess who couldn't wear this? I'm just kidding. But I do feel like it would be a little much. And just depending on the guy who knows if it's going to like match his vibe, you know what I mean? If he knows how you are already, go ahead. And if you're bold enough, wear the choker with it. But if you're like me, I probably just wear it without the choker. And just the stilettos. This is very festive and cute. And I don't see how this is like too much. So, yeah. I recommend this dress. I had a dress like this. Um, but it was like a cosplay of Miraculous Ladybug, so yeah. And you can make it longer if you're more coverage girly. But if not, then this is cute, perfect for you. Let's go into the next outfit. So this is the next dress, and this is more of like a disco like ball one. I can't zip it up all the way, but it is very pretty. I love the opening here. This shows all it needs to, and then you get to still see some of my back line, which is very pretty, just the middle. So I feel like it's just showing just the right amount, and the length is very cute too, very fun. You know, not so conservative, but also not super risky and sexual. So this is a very nice dress, I'd say. And it goes good with the white stilettos, but I don't wouldn't personally pair pair the stilettos with this, honestly. I, I just wouldn't. I don't know. I like the more I wear the dress, I kinda don't like it, but I don't even think it would be for Valentine's Day. More of like a New Year's party or something. Next outfit. So here is the next outfit. I absolutely love this one. I love skin tight jumpsuits. They are so cute for me. And I'm loving the opening heart cut out here. I made, I actually made my own. You know what? I'm going to show you guys mine because it's perfect for Valentine's Day. I made my own freaking design and clothes last year. But yeah, I didn't zip it up all the way because, you know what? Let's just try. There we go. So I think that if you're more of a full coverage girly, but still looking super cute, super fun, super sexy, this would be great for you because you have the opening cut for cleavage if you have big, gir big girlies, big boobs, but for me, it's fine. And look at the detail, super cute. So yeah, I really like this one, 10 out of 10, one of my favorites. And if you like this one, you're definitely gonna like the next one. And I just wanna mention how the bottom is bell bottom get it <laughs> so i feel like red is a more bolder mature color and then pink is more fun and playful and that's definitely like if that's what you go for more then this one would be perfect for you and if you are the opposite the red would be better because the red is more mature and a little bit better in my opinion and it's like a you know better color but this is super cute itself and if you're in a hotter state where the weather is just a little bit too much, this would be fine too. Because it's short. It's a romper. I thought it was a dress at first, but it's not. It's literally the same thing as the other, but a romper and pink. So yeah, I really like it. These are very cute. I didn't think I was going to like these that much, but they are super adorable. So yeah, and I think this one would look cute with the stilettos. The more I pair it with the stilettos, though, the more I begin to not like the stilettos. So I'm going to stop doing that. Let's go into... My only thing I made and created in here, this was the packaging. So, this was the outfit I created. It was a pink, it is a pink, uh, baby pink, which I didn't want any dark pink like this. Um, I always like lighter colors, not so, like I said, eye shocking. This is still very, like, it catches your eye, but it's not, it's catching your eye because it's accentuating and focusing on you. It's not really the outfit that's making it pop. Like, what really catches your eye in this? My stomach, this little open space here, my arms, you know what I mean? Not so much the color of the fit, you know, and even that might. So. Yeah, this is the back. It is a skirt and a top, which you can make it lower. You can 
do it like that. You can make it shorter. You could do anything really with this. Make this shorter. That's what I love about outfits like this. You can just alter them whichever way you want. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys my little outfit and how I did the heart thing before I ever knew about those, by the way. That's kind of crazy. It, it was definitely a, a very fun thing to make. I love this so, so much. With like pigtails. It's gotta be washed though. Anyways, I'm looking at what this hat. My hat of the lights. Go to the next fit. Okay, so I said that the other ones were definitely more on the sexier, mature side, but this definitely takes the title top notch for that like if you were really going for like i'm sexy or whatever this would be the look because i feel like the whole lace vibe gives it the hot pink mixed with the black just the way it accentuates all your parts here and then it's just fully black in the back i like this a lot i just probably wouldn't wear it on valentine's day because I feel like Valentine's Day is too sweet for something like this, you know? I just wouldn't want to be wearing this on Valentine's Day. Depending on my intentions, right? So yeah, I like this one, but it's not for me. It's not really my vibe right now. So yeah, if you want this vibe though, that's perfect. Just not my vibe right now. So yeah, I like it, but not my thing right now. I like the lace though. I do like the lace vibe. I always love lacy things. On to the next so, outfit. this is not a new dress. This was in my other Shein haul, if you've seen it. But I just wanted to include it because I think it would be great for for Valentine's Day. I love it. It's not too revealing. It's just perfect, honestly. I think it's super cute. I love this dress with all my heart. And it smells so good because it was just cleaned. So, love that. Just wanted to include it. I know a lot of you guys have already seen it. 10 out of 10 would definitely wear this for Valentine's Day. Perfect dress. Go into the next outfit. So this a lot. These last two pieces are just really. I recommend this for my more conservative girls, but that still love to look gorgeous as ever. Um, I really like these dresses. One of my favorite dresses that I own. I have this in blue and um, maroon. I have it in these two new colors. And yeah, let's check it out. Super gorgeous. Very shocking in every which way and form you can think. I absolutely love these dresses and I would definitely, probably will wear these on Valentine's Day. I feel like they cover everything but you still look gorgeous. You still look so beautiful. And that's why I absolutely love about this, uh, this company and this brand and these dresses, they're just so beautiful and it, it does everything for you. And I honestly didn't think I was gonna like this color because I, like I've been saying, I don't like pink like that. <sighs> See, it's like 30 different pink things in here, right? I don't like pink like that, always wears a pink lip. I don't like pink like that, but I actually did like this pink color, so never mind light again anyways yeah i really do like this so if you are a conservative girly or any girly that like this you're definitely going to like the last one i can't wait here is the last one it is red so amazing so beautiful so gorgeous i love how this literally just takes the form of your body like it is just so beautiful and the color is so pretty as well the dress just snatches everything all of your body and then it comes with like a little skirt at the bottom and i just really love it and um oh i wanted to like show more dresses like this but i don't feel like anyone would wear this on valentine's day so i'm gonna be making a prom dress video because prom i know is coming up for a lot of people so i thought why not do like a separate video with more extravagant dresses that have big bows on them like that and leave that for that rather than valentine's day even though it's pink and fun and has bows i just think that that would be better for like a, a prom you know or homecoming so yeah this is the last dress 
I know you all heard that. It is so cute and it's one of my favorites and I'll probably wear this one on Valentine's Day to be honest. Now you know what I'm wearing on Valentine's Day. And this is a self tanner, which, um, is there an expiration date on self tanners? Please someone let me know. I would love to use it because it's just, I don't even want to use it to get tan. I want to use it to smell freaking delicious. It smells so good. I need to get a tan though. I am pretty pale, right? I am pretty pale. Um, when I was living in Miami though, like, bro, I was tan. I was very tan, and I need to get tan like that again. Anyways, yeah, that's the last dress, y'all. So, you guys, that is it for today's YouTube video. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Also, do not forget to click that subscribe button down below while you are at it. Let me know which one was your favorite. Stay tuned for my prom dress video. And, yeah, I love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. And the Holy Spirit loves you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.